Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Office of Consumer Credit Commissioner's stakeholder meeting to discuss rule amendments on registered creditor documentary fees. My name is Matt Nance, and I'm the OCCC's general counsel. I'm joined by other members of the OCCC staff, including Commissioner Leslie Pettyjohn, Director of Consumer Protection Huffman Lewis, Assistant Director of Exam Operations Carl Huventhal, and Senior Paralegal Ginger Harmon, who's acting as our meeting organizer. We're holding this meeting through an online webinar, and I want to thank everyone for joining us. Uh, getting input from stakeholders is a really important part of our rulemaking process, and these meetings help us make sure we produce the best rules possible. Our webinar platform is GoToWebinar. Uh, some of you might be listening on your phones, some may be watching on your computers, and some might be doing both. For those of you watching on your computer, there's a questions window where you can submit comments to staff. If you have technical questions about using the webinar, you can type them in that uh, questions window and Ginger will try to answer those. We're discussing a pre-comment draft of rule amendments that's available on the OCCC's webpage for recent and upcoming rules. On that webpage, you can see the draft rules by clicking on the link for registered creditor documentary fee rule. If you have any comments on the rule amendments, go ahead and type those in at any time, and I'll be getting to those in just a few minutes. And if you're on a computer with a mic, there's a function allowing you to raise your hand, and then we can let you make a comment verbally. These rule amendments deal with documentary fees under Chapter 345 of the Texas Finance Code for retail installment transactions to purchase motorcycles, boats, all-terrain vehicles, and certain other vehicles and trailers. Registered creditors can charge a documentary fee or dock fee in retail installment transactions under Section 345.251 of the Finance Code. The dock fee may not exceed a reasonable amount agreed to by the retail seller and retail buyer for the documentary services, subject to a reasonable maximum amount set by rule of the Finance Commission. The OCCC's rule at 7 Texas Administrative Code Section 86.201 describes the maximum dock fee amounts that are considered reasonable for Chapter 345 retail installment transactions. So these rule amendments would adjust the maximum dock fee amounts under the rule at Section 86.201. Currently, the rule distinguishes between covered land vehicles, which are motorcycles, mopeds, all-terrain vehicles, boat trailers, and towable recreational vehicles, and covered watercraft, which are boats and boat motors. The rationale for that distinction when the Finance Commission first adopted the rule in 2013 was based on different sets of titling and registration requirements. The land vehicles are subject to titling and registration through a system administered by the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles, while watercraft are subject to titling and registration through the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. So under the current rule, the dock fee amounts are $125 for a contract for a covered land vehicle, $125 for covered watercraft, and $175 for a contract that has both a covered land vehicle and covered watercraft. For example, that last amount would apply if you are selling a boat and a boat trailer in the same transaction. These rule amendments would adjust the fee for a covered land vehicle or watercraft to $200, and would adjust the fee for both types of vehicles to 250. This $75 adjustment corresponds to a pending proposal, which the Finance Commission proposed at its February 2024 meeting to adjust the reasonable dock fee for motor vehicles, such as automobiles and trucks. Uh, that proposal was based on the OCCC's ongoing review of dock fee cost analyses, as well as a recent contested case. So those are the amounts we put in this pre-comment draft, and we're interested in getting feedback from stakeholders on whether those amounts reflect costs for sellers to process documents in these transactions and any changes in those costs since 2013. So that's the summary of the draft amendments. Uh, here's a proposed timeline for the for the rule amendments. Uh, you can see that we're requesting informal pre-comments by this Thursday, March 28th. We intend to propose the amendments at the Finance Commission's April 19th meeting. There will be an official comment period during the month of May. Um, we also anticipate at this point that the proposal would be submitted to the Office of the Governor's Regulatory Compliance Division for their review. 
uh, after that, we would present the rule for adoption at the Finance Commission's August meeting, and the rule would be effective in September 2024. This is, of course, a tentative timeline, and all of this is subject to the Finance Commission's approval of the rules. So with that, I've summarized the rule action, and I'll open things up to comments on the rule amendments. Again, there are two ways to provide your feedback through this webinar. First, you can type your comment out and send it to us through the webinar's question feature, or if you're on a computer with a mic, there should be a function allowing you to raise your hand. Also, if you have a longer written question, uh, please feel free to type a quick message into the question field and go to webinar explaining that you have a longer message, and then we can give you some time to uh, type your longer message. So, Ginger, do we have any written questions or comments through the webinar? Okay, I'm showing we don't have any questions or hand raises. Again, if you have a longer question, please feel free to uh, type in a quick message and we can give you some time to type out your longer, uh, longer question or comment. Okay, I will wait for about one minute just to see. Again, please feel free to use the raise hand function or to uh, type in a, a quick message. I will wait for one minute starting now. Okay, I still see no questions or hands raised. So I will move on to the last slide. Um, again, I want to thank everyone for joining us and participating. Um, as always, rule updates are available on our website um, and we'll be posting the audio of this meeting. We are accepting informal written pre-comments on these rules until 5 p.m. this Thursday, March 28th. Uh, again, we welcome feedback on uh, whether these doc fee amounts reflect changes in costs uh, appropriately. So if you have any uh, informal written pre-comments, please feel free to email those to rule.comments at occc.texas.gov, which is our email address for rule comments. Um, I want to thank everyone for attending. Uh, please be safe out there, and we will see you next time. Thank you.